Oh, the tutorial. I'm gonna make that sword tutorial, how to make your sword. I've already subbed to you. I tend to know these, and I like every one of your videos. I love you, bro. I'm totally in love with it. I love you, bro. Oh, you're you're the best button I could ever have. Give me a hug. Why are you T-posting? <laughs> Yo, give, give me a hug, brother. Did you say what I think he said? Oh, give oh, give me a hug, me yeah. sitting in the background T-posing. <laughs> Twist your nipples! Ugh. <laughs> Hello, Wolfpack. My name is Skull Wolf, and I am back with a new video. I'm sorry, guys, for taking a little break. It's been, like, so hot in Sweden right now, so I'm, like, sweating my ass off you standing up, moving around at any kind. <laughs> He's just people today, bro. <laughs> okay, so uh, well, I am back. It's starting to cool off here, so I can start making videos again for you guys. And I since it, you, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, since this game just came out on Quest, and there's gonna be a lot of new players, I felt like I could make a tutorial to make it easier for these new players to get started off. And today's plan was to make a red iron sword. How to get the materials for a red iron sword easily without having to go down the cave, because that's where people usually die. That I will make a, another tutorial another day for you guys that want to go down the cave. Well, okay, so let's get started. First of all, the, the, this is Gabe and this is Redman, Hello. My, my two friends that I just met here. Uh, you're gonna see this dude in the outro, he's he's my little fellow friend here helping me out with my channel. You, you might see him a little- You're not my fellow. I said fellow friend, but okay. Sure, we're not friends. It doesn't want to be friend. This is spawn, where you would spawn if this is your first time playing. You just come out of there, you just walk over that bridge. Okay, so basically, you would come here from where Gabe is coming right now. Come on. Is he... does he... is he gonna come? <laughs> I, I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> what? He's just... he's just adopted, it's not that serious. Okay, yes. So, you say, saw Gabe come from the spawn, the, the, you just come over the bridge basically and you will be here. And then you will see this little spawn area too for... Yes. Uh, and that, then you will see this little spawn area here for people that has been playing on the server before but you just logged off and may have not been on for a couple days. Then they will usually spawn over here. So, the first place we will head to is... So, we will start off with getting a I'm copper sorry. pickaxe and there... To get the copper pickaxe, you just follow my little route here and you will find them easily. And um, yeah, let's get it started, boys. I met a guy who was cooking soup and he did it. The Yo, where's the pickaxe? He, he told me there's no like pickaxe. Shit. <gasps> there's an axe. I'm trying to make these. That, that's a that's hammer. A hammer. Okay, so. I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna need it. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, so basically, guys, um, here is where you can find like rusty pickaxes, rusty small. No, I don't think daggers spawn here, but you can find a hammer, rusty hammer. Right there, my game, that's right there. Rusty Shistle works as tools, like temporary tools. You can just drop them off after you're done to save some space in your inventory. But this is mainly where pickaxes and shit spawns. Okay, so basically, oh, this is where you could find uh, pickaxes for uh, quarry right up here that I will show you in a little bit how to get copper easily. 
Um, but if you don't find a pickaxe here, you can also make a makeshift pickaxe stick combined with a flint, and he put a like roll of grass. Okay, so basically this is a makeshift axe, pickaxe, and like I don't know sword. Could you call it a sword? I don't think so. But you can oh, actually you, you can use it as a melee weapon too, but it's not really efficient. It's mainly used as a started tool. So all you need for to make it is a flint that you can find over at the spawn area when you spawn, and a stick. Combine mm. them like this. Like that. Like when you see that line. green line connect, that means just feel free to release that flint and it will get attached. And there you go. You have a makeshift axe, sword, or pickaxe, depending on what you want to use it for. So, we will use these in order to get copper now in the beginning. And um, we're going to head up here to quarry. I will show you guys the way up there too for you new players. And um, yeah, let's get going again. What do you say, guys? Yeah. Let's go! Mm Okay, here we are, boys. This is Cory. This is the starter area where you can get <laughs> copper and coal easily. This is also where you can find the starter... I call them golems. I, I, I will be killed for calling them golems. They're called terabatas or whatever. Um, but I call them golems. This is the smallest one. And we, we can see our guys struggle here a little bit, killing it. <laughs> yeah, I really gotta make a fight in this You don't deserve to be alive. You're stoned, you little... Hard feelings, bro. Hard feelings. <laughs> you think you're good? You're not. You're rock. That's a lie. That's not. Yeah, I don't think this is a weird. Well, and the server is lagging a little bit since there's a lot of people on right now. So if you guys see okay. skipping and shit in the video, it's just because of that. Oh, someone here. There we go. Okay, so killing Terabotas can give you some standard material like gold, copper. <laughs> Give me, give me. Stones and flints, and the, I these this. I call golem tears or terabata tears. You can make, basically what use these? these as explosives. Oh, yes. If you throw yes. them at. I got it. <laughs> oh yeah, you make your first hammer out of their arm. Well, yes, that works too. You just combine that with a stick, and you have a makeshift hammer. And that didn't work. Or it did. I was not flexible, bro. I can't stick yeah. them out all the way. I'm sticking them out. Hey, happening. Gabe, there's some more copper oh. for you. <gasps> Give me, uh, don't you? <laughs> Come on, you lose. Okay, let's see if there's any well, copper over here. Have you guys mined up all the copper? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, we'll have a hard day beating that. Okay, oh, so good. basically, guys. Copper can spawn up here, it seems like it's all been cleaned out. They left some coal here, but it works pretty much the same. So when you find copper, they will look like the ores here, but like a lot bigger. Oh, come here again. Oh, I found. Yeah, it will it look gold. like these ores here, but a lot bigger. So basically you just take your pickaxe yeah, out and you start mining these ores. This is coal and it's gonna be the same shit for copper. But what you mean? You mine like this, you go bop bop on the rock, you go bop 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 until it destroys and then you wait 10 hours until you destroy and then your off capacity just dies. Yes. <laughs> Very good explanation. Unlike, in, unless, also, yeah, if you want to, you know, farm, you can just... Yeah, just using a flint works too, but you, you can to farm XP it. by doing that. I will show you guys later how to <laughs> efficiently. 
Okay, so basically, using two hands make this more efficient. And um, swinging behind your back. So you want to see these big rings, and then there you go. You mind it. Now, this is cold, what but is it that? will be the same shit for copper, as yeah. I've said a couple times now. And uh, this is where you, you mainly find it. You can also find it down here. If you, this is the entrance, so if you just walk up here and you come up here, they can spawn at this wall here. They could also spawn under here, under this bridge. Here they usually spawn on the sides. Seems like it's cleaned out here too. Yeah, this is me mainly where you would find copper on land. There's also other ways of doing it by finding like guards and chests and, sel and smelting it. But this this will probably be the most beneficial for you since you get XP too from mining. I killed him. So oh you did? Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, well uh now we will head over back to spawn and I will show you guys where to go if you need iron. Subscribe, you little See you guys in a little bit. Why is he Michael Jackson? Okay, so we just went back here to where we found that rusty hammer and showed you guys how to make that makeshift pickaxe. And we found some rusty pickaxes and this is how they would look. Uh, you just pick them up, feel free to take them, put them in your backpack and head up at the quarry and you can start mining with those. There's, they're, they're more efficient and it takes less hits in order to destroy the wars. Um, so that, that, that's basically it. I also thought that I could just show it you guys from here instead. So this is where we are. That's quarry. And if we just turn around, this is town hall, as I was shown in my first video. So all we have to do in order to get iron is go over here to town hall. And you can see these signs over here, or this road sign here. And it says mountain pass. Feel free to walk down this pass right here. And you will find crates and stuff in the end of it. Um, I will also show you guys a little shrine where you can look at your skill points and how much XP you have in every skill. Um, and then I will also show you where the sword skill shrine is. And I will show you in a later video how to actually get XP for swords easily. Well, so uh, let's keep going. See you in a little bit. You can hear me, right? You can yeah. Yep. Yeah. kill a chicken in the game all you have to do is smack the shit out of it no <laughs> you have my family and no kid <laughs> you, you're, you're missing it <laughs> you, yeah, you little shit there you go yeah, there you get some chicken legs that you can cook it like gives your skill trees up and everything it's not poisonous people say it's poisonous but like they're not they're wrong Okay, don't trust that yeah. kid. He's trying to he's trying to kill you guys. <laughs> no, don't no, eat raw no, meat. Don't eat mean? blue meat. That is not good. Cook it when it's brown. <laughs> that that's that's when it's good. Okay, good. What don't listen to him. He's trying to kill you. So, I'm back guys, so this is the shrine I've been talking about where you can see your XP on all different skills. All you have to do is put your hand on here, and there you go. There it appears, and you can see all your XP. Uh, here it says that I have one level in bow skill. You, you can tell that I already have one gained level by this little thing here, and this is how much XP I have before I... Uh, th this little part is how much more XP I have to gain before I get a new level. Uh, on sword skill I have two levels and the rest I have this much XP. So uh, this is where you would want to go if you want to see all your skills and not have, actually have to go to each shrine to see your XP. And uh, yeah, well, there you go guys. Let's keep on moving.
Okay, so here we have Gabe man. going crazy, and um, this is Molten Pass. I will show you guys where to go in order to actually get your materials and metal stuff that you can smelt down in order to get some iron. And um, he just slaughtered a chicken. And he sounds very much like he's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> this kid needs therapy. Okay, let's keep on going, guys. Wait for it. I can't kill that thing. Yes, again. Oh, you scared. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't spit at me. You're like a llama. I stacked my whole sword in him. If you go here up left, you will find Mash some crates room. for some materials. Just up here, and there will be a couple more enemies for you guys that don't have really tools. I would recommend you to just run away from them. Um, I will show you guys in a later video how to actually fight them with any weapon. But for you new people Mushroom. that don't know, I don't recommend Mushroom. fighting. Okay, so Whoa. this is what we're searching for. We're searching for metal stuff. Now somebody has put a guard on it. Oh, nice. Um, but this you can use to smelt down. You can take this apart and you can go to the blacksmith and smelt this down in order to get ingots. And that is just what you need. So, in order to get more handles and stuff, you just pick those up, two hands, or you hit it with the pickaxe. No. There you go. And you get basically random loot. And these spawn very often. So you will always find them if somebody's not been here the minute you've been here. Oh. Oh, perfect. Sword handle. We can use this for a sword to have more durability, and since it's red iron, it will have even more durability. So that will be perfect. No, it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and since we didn't find any copper, you can also use attachments for swords and handles and shit. And you can smelt this down in order to get ingots too. Um, so, in order to get as much copper as possible, I would recommend you to pick these up, these guards here, because you can stack them, and they are very common, as you see here. So, just pick them all up, and I will show you later how to smelt it down. And, uh, okay. yeah, let's go. Subscribe to Surf Wall! Wait, up. Oh. Surf Wall! <laughs> Thank you, bro. Okay, so now we just moved from that little area and we had to leave Gabe because he was going off. Okay, so basically we just keep on going over here. And here we have a chest, and this is especially what we're searching for. These are great. You get, I think it is about like 15 ingots you get from one cauldron. So picking up these is crucial, like if you want quick quick iron. So pick up these, you gotta grab them with two hands. One hand doesn't work, like you see there. And uh, yeah, just put it in your backpack and then just keep it until we go over to blacksmith. Or Actually, for the cauldron, we will have to go to the backpack area or the crafting area uh, to take it apart before we can smelt it down. But I will show you guys, I will show you guys how to do that too. So no worries. Uh, let's keep on going. 
And uh, over here you will also find some more weapons instead of tools, as you saw back at the, um, just over at the quarry. And the chicken is very aggressive. Ouch! No, I don't want to kill you. Stop. Um, so here you can find a small axe, uh, a long sword, a shield, and uh, a long axe, or a big axe. War axe, I call it. And um, yeah, so basically for us, since we're still searching for more copper and iron, we will keep on going over here, over these little bridges here, and we will keep on going over to the uh, sword shrine, and over there there will be a couple more boxes and a chest. Okay, so here we are. Seems like people have already been here opening boxes, but that is no problem because new ones have spawned. And here we found another of these handles. Just pick them up, and if you don't have space, you can also hold them in your hand. Um, just for the moment. And uh, let's destroy these and see if we find some more guards. Oh, perfect. These work perfectly too uh, for copper. You can pick these up in order to smelt them. They stack too, uh, if I'm not wrong. Um, so let's just keep going. Uh, right, you can also get leather rolls and leather strips by doing this. So if you're trying to make a backpack, this would probably be the best way for you doing it, or for you to do it. And just up here, you have the sword shrine. This is where you can level up your sword skills. So same thing here. You just pull the trigger, hold your hand over that mark. Here you can see your XP, the skills you have equipped. If you want to equip a skill, uh, you just have to do this. But first time it's going to show you a little tutorial. Um, I can't do it now since I don't have this skill yet. Uh, but So when you drag it, it will show here and it will show you how it works. Just follow those. There. So basically this is a three hit combo and then you get a extra hard hit. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Um, and yeah, th there I got it done. That means I can equip this now. I won't because I don't use sword skills mainly. And I will show that in another video uh, how which ones you should get and such. But so this is the sword shrine, and uh, yeah, let's keep on getting some more copper. Here, these works too to take apart to get iron. They're actually really good, almost as good as cauldron, but just almost. Uh, cauldron is still best. Uh, you can also find unfinished blades like this. Uh, this isn't the blade I'm going for, but you can definitely take this in order to smelt it down. Uh, so I'm gonna pick that up too. And um, next step is going down here. You can see, oh, now it's all been cleaned out. But usually there's crates down here. Or is it that it's just not running in? I don't know. Uh, down there, there's usually crates just like up here. And in order to get down without taking damage, yeah, there they are. Just slight, slight with this wall, and you're all, you're gonna be fine. They will spawn one or two worms here, so be ready. Um, you could just avoid them, uh, or you just kill them. Okay, I think we're done here. Um, I just picked up everything I could, and I have a really big backpack, so you might not fit as much as me, but if you have a friend that can help you carry stuff, that would be really, really good. Um, especially for you beginners that just have the starter backpack. Um, but so this is what I picked up. I picked up some handles. Uh, uh, I picked up some handles, I picked up a guard, and I picked up this blade here, some guards there. And this lantern here, you can also use it for a light source. But right now I'm gonna smelt it down to get iron. And then I have some more guards here. This should definitely be enough for me to make my sword. And uh, I will also show you guys how to make a makeshift handle, or a wooden handle. Um, 
which one you should make. You can see in my first video how to get wood and how to make a handle overall. It works the same for every handle. And um, yeah, let's go. This is what I'm gonna use then. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we are back at the town hall and then I will go to the crafting area now to take these apart uh, This lantern here and this cauldron. Oh shit There we go uh, But in order to take stuff apart, I will need a hammer and a chisel I can make a makeshift hand hammer in order to put a stick and a stone together And then I can just use a chisel as a uh, or a uh, flint as a chisel that works too, but I will see if I can find some copper tools over here, then just to, because they have a little bit better durability. And um, yeah, let's see. So here we have a chisel, perfect. It's what we need. And uh, we're unlucky and couldn't find a hammer. That is all good. Is there one here? Nope. Okay, well, let's just pick up a stick and put it together with a, a um, stone. Just take a stick here, and then we go down here to the crafting area. And that right there is the crafting area where you make backpacks and where you can take stuff apart. And right here outside you usually find sticks and stones and flints, so you can make makeshift tools. And all you have to do is see if I can find a stone, maybe? Oh, it doesn't seem like I'm lucky enough to find a stone. Um, hey! My little tea posing friend. How's it going? Do you have a stone? Yeah. No. I don't. Well, in that case, if you're unlucky and don't find any stones over here, you can always go back to the starter area. I know it's a little extra route to take, but... We need that stone, so I will head back to the starter area real quick and grab a stone and I'll be back in two seconds. Oh, you found one. Okay, here you Nice. As you saw red man there, he just picked up a stone out of the ground. And you can find them over here, you can find them over at the spawning area, over there just over at the bridge too. So I will take this and I will take my stick and I will put them together. Uh, I usually like to put it on the side here. You can put it on top too, works just as good. And uh, yeah, let's head back up. Okay, so here we are, back up at the crafting area. And uh, actually, I will probably skip that chisel and I will just pick up a flint, just because it's easier to use a makeshift tool with a makeshift tool instead of using a rusty tool with a makeshift. Usually, it doesn't work as well. Very nice. Um, okay, so in order to put my stuff up here i need to take out the blueprint make sure nobody's already started here in that case start on another one that is empty and um i will start off by using my lantern and i will put it up here and i will make a little fast as i usually do and i will just let this put some music and you guys can just enjoy see you in a little bit Okay, so there we go, everything's taken apart, now we just have to collect all of this. And 
And there we go, all picked up, all cleaned up. And I will leave these tools over here. I will, I will keep my... Um... No, actually, I need to take apart some stuff, so I will, I will take both of these. Uh, let's see, I don't really have space right now. Nice one, this one. Thank you, though. Um, okay. So I will leave this here. Perfect. And, uh, yeah. So I will take these tools with me. And uh, we're going to have head over to the blacksmith. And we're going to make our sword. So let's go. So, once again, this is the starter area. If you just walk right in here, you will find this road sign right here that says that says the blacksmith, the carpenter, that's where you make those handles. In my first video, you will see how that works. I will have that video in the descriptions down below for you guys to find it easily. Um, and I will also go, I can actually take my time to show you guys which handle you should make instead of the handle I showed you in that video. Um, since you're making a sword, a normal bastard sword, that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, okay, so you will have to make, uh, let's see if we can find this handle. Here it is. This handle is the one you want to make if you're going to make a sword. So as I showed before, you just take this, go over here, take out any already blueprint that's in there. Put this here, uh, drag this back, put on wood, and then start chiseling. But this is the handle you want. Okay, well, so uh, let's head back up to the blacksmith and, um, yeah, make our sword. So, this is the blacksmith, this is how it looks, this is where you heat up your blade in order to hammer it later, I will show you that as soon as I have my blade. Uh, here you can take apart weapons and stuff, so all you have to do is put your weapon or your handle or anything you have here, pull this lever, it will get off there, and then you take your chisel and hammer, there we have, chisel and hammer, and let's just hammer like this. And it should come off. There we go. Perfect. So now this is ready to get smelted down. And in order to smelt it down, we will head over here to this little smelter right here. Let's see. Yes, it has it has um, fuel in it. So all I have to do now is just drop in all of my stuff that I want to smelt down. I will not put too much because sometimes it can lag and you just shoot everything out of it. So I will take it at parts, small parts at a time. And all you have to do is just pump this and then your ores will pop up right there. There we go. Some copper is done. Some iron. Perfect. Is there anything more in here? Nope. Okay, so then let's keep on putting in. What did you just put in? Just copper and iron. I don't really care about it. It's just more resources. Okay. So yeah, I can take it. Yeah, you can take it. I don't really care. Appreciate it. Okay, so then you just put in these. Same with this. Do I have anything more? Yes. These plates I want to smelt. And these buckles. I 
And also don't forget, you always gotta take it out of the bag. You gotta take them one for one, otherwise it won't smelt. Or melt, that's what it's called. Not smelt. <laughs> yeah, there we go, a little iron, perfect. I feel like some of it went out here. Oh, okay. Yep, that's all. Perfect. So here we go, even more iron and more copper. Perfect. Um, now we have a Obra stack of copper, that is perfect, and the iron went down here in my little mining pouch. Oh, right. There we go. A little bit more copper. 24. Oh, nice. So, now we'll start picking together all the blueprints that I need uh, in order to make this sword. This is the stuff I'm gonna use in order to make my sword, and that handle that I have here. Or that wooden handle that you might make if you don't have an iron handle. This is what you would need. Um, so, let's get started. So, to start off with, I will make the guard. But first, for that, I gotta make some red iron. So, I'm just gonna... In order to make red iron, you just combine as many copper as you have irons. Um, so, let's see. How many irons do I have? Uh, does this work? This is lagging. Bolt. I just need bugs. Hey bro, 24. That yeah, means I need 24 copper. So let's take one out. There we go. 24, 24. That will give me 24 red iron. You can see that it's working because that flame is doing it. Always take out these just in case so it doesn't actually accidentally make blades. You can go here to speed up the process. And when that flame stops there, that means that your ores are done. Or ingots. So next one is this blade here, here it is, six ingots, so then I will go back here and I will put in six, oh shit, I forgot to. I'm going to use the 20th wood. There we go. And then it's six, two, three. Four, five, six. Close that up. The rest of this can be used for the forge. Perfect. And now we just go clean this up here. So in order to clean this up, I'll just take these. And you can just throw them against the wall if it's not lagging too much. It seems like it's lagging too much, so I'll just... Cut these up manually. I don't seem to be very hungry. I'm just gonna cook something real quick. Give me a sec. All of my stuff should be right here. Yes, it is. Perfect. I will pick these up. Uh, I also forgot, this pummel only works if you're using a special metal handle that doesn't already have a pummel. Might already have one, uh, as you can see here, so that means I cannot attach it to. Uh, but the wooden handle you can also attach it to, so I recommend using this to get better durability and better stability. But I don't need this. Um, and that you put on the bottom of your, your handle. So in order to put this together, I take my handle and I take the guard. I release the guard and there it goes. And then I release this onto the guard and perfect there we have a hand guard very nice now i will go over here and i will heat up my blade oh shit um, i have a skill but i won't use that now so yeah so you guys know how this would work for you i have my hammer you can use any type of hammer for this i'm gonna use this since this is the one i have right now gold hammer is not really the best uh just gonna wait for this to heat up Red iron takes, well, a, takes a little while. Good for carpentry because they have a less chance to break an item. Yeah, and that's why I used the gold hammer in the last video when I made my hoarder's backpack to prevent it from breaking it. Um, so, I'm just waiting for this to give out some heat sparkles like that. That means it's hot enough to start hammering. So, I will put it up here on the anvil and I will just start hammering. I have a skill, so it might look a little bit different for you guys. Man, uh, but it's gonna it's gonna be the same shit. So just hammer. It might take a while since it's red iron. 
Okay, so uh, when your handle cool or when your blade cools down again, all you have to do is just reheat it by putting it on the fire, and then just wait for those sparkles to come up again. And um, yeah, give me a second. Okay, so we're back. See if this works now. Yes, now it works. As you can see, the blade is getting thinner. That means I'm almost done at that spot. You want to ham hammer all over the blade because it has to be thin like that all the way because you can see here it's a lot thicker so you want to hammer it all the way up there When you don't really see any big sparks like this, just small sparks, that means you're already done at that area. You want to go where you can see these big sparks come out. And if you don't find any, then it's just hammer all over the blade, find that last spot that you haven't hit. Let's just reheat it. T postman. <laughs> there we go. When you get double circles or you get a circle like this, that means your blade is done for the fuse. So all you have to do now is just take your handle that you already put together and attach the blade. There we go. Our first sword. Uh, if you just put it in your backpack or anything, it will cool down and then it will look like it should. Here we go. Red iron blade. Perfect. A really, really good starter blade. Um, I would really recommend you to get this uh, instead of getting copper or iron. It has better durability and more damage. And um, here we can use this dummy. This is a modded dummy. This is a custom server, so you would only have this. You wouldn't see the damage. Uh, let's see. There we go. Very good damage. I don't have any skills, so I, I, I do like minimal damage. Um, this, is, this is great. So, this is how you would make your first red iron sword. And uh, in the next video, I will probably show you guys how to use it against enemies to not kill yourself. And um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So if there's a creepy man behind you in Township Tail walking around following you, just tell him to stop. And this is the Skull Wolf video, and he makes good content. So if you see a subscribe button down there, you press it, and then you press the notification, and you press the like button. Because this man is very good at making videos, and he has to work like 1500 hours just to make one tutorial for you guys. So subscribe or you don't get a free cookie. I'm gay. <laughs> yo! Yo! <laughs> bro! <laughs>